That's, that's, <laughs> that's talking about... If you say so. All seriousness, the, the 310 is the race that I'm really looking forward to. Elusive Cape versus Sky Lantern. Um, we all are aware of what happened um, between um, Sky Lantern and Elusive Cape earlier in the season. What are your views to... OK, Sky Catherine, Lantern. Sky Lantern. Just a judge. I'm just a big judge. Charles Hills fan, I think, just a judge. Well... And he's been, he's been well supported this morning as a little bit of weakness behind both the front two in the market and just the judge being um, backed. OK, well, as far as I'm concerned, ignore it being backed. Ignore Sky Lantern. It's exclusive Kate. Elusive Kate for me. I think that will beat Sky Lantern today. Um, there you go. Difference of opinion. Now, I, I know your juices are flying for this one. Ah. The, <laughs> the Cambridgeshire. I mean, how many runners are in this race? I mean... The, the, there was. Um, out, yeah, so, so 28 runners, right? Or 27, so maybe 35. 34 now. 34. I mean, Sorry, this, is an absolute this, is yeah. a, this is an absolute minefield for, for, for punters to get involved with. Um, where do we start? Start. We start, as always, by just considering the draw, whether you want to be high or low or down the middle. I think yesterday in the silver came this year, they came in one group. Um, that's the first consideration. But I would say they probably go up three groups today, Billy, won't they? They, they might go in three groups because of the, the obviously number of runners. Uh, my advice would be make sure you have one high, one low, and one in the middle. Uh, don't try and get it right. Don't try and say um, you think high numbers are best. So have one each side. Um, for me, the really interesting one here is uh, is Mal Mohammed's Educate. Um, looked a little bit unlucky in in some of his recent runs. He's been. You know, looked all over the winner and found a little bit of trouble. To me, he's better than the handicapper. He'll be, he'll be leaving the handicaps behind if he wins this. And he's drawn low, still four. So that's a that's question. And Johnny Murch, as we said earlier on, is doing exceptionally well. I mean, that, that mm. educate is drawn four. Mm -hmm. and that's what the obvious selection in the low numbers. On the high number, who, who, who have we gone for? I like uh, Med Dunlop's Red Avenger. Uh, as a three-year-old, I think three-year-olds have a fairly good record in this race. Um, he's drawn high. It's quite a long season, but he's, he's, he's still a three-year-old that's going to improve, and uh, he would be a, a big fancy from the high numbers. Uh, if, if that proves to be misguided and you need to come down the middle, uh, I did like Chapter 7, who I gave a mention to here last week, uh, but the ground's probably not soft enough for him. Uh, your thoughts? Yeah. My thoughts? Yeah. I, I'm with you on Educate. I think that, uh, I mean, uh, Johnny Murtaugh, I think, has done exceptionally well. And I, I, since, you know he's not, he's not going to come over to, to, to Newmarket to, to ride. He's still us. a top-class jockey, and in, the, in these races, one of the big things, you know, you can you can you can make a slight mistake and be beaten a length and come ninth. You I know, mean, I also know. like Queensbury Rules as well, William Haggis. I know it's ridden by to Ryan Moore, and it's probably the, the the more fancied of the six Haggis runners. But I, I think that will go well as well. Drawn eighteen, mm. is that horse going to go out the middle? I think you're right. I think. It's very hard to, to judge where they're going to go. I mean, it's going to be good to firm going at Newmarket. Mm. You know, if it's soft, you could normally judge that they're going to go stand side. But today, it's going to be a cavalry charge all the way down. Have you got any particular views on this one, Catherine? Yeah, I do quite fancy Brian Anderson's Pacific Heights. Caught my eye when he ran in the Super Bell at Carlisle. I've just been watching. I mean, all he's it, run the last three times at Carlisle, but he's not bringing him down here for anything. He's got a claim on, takes the five pounds off. He's actually quite nicely related. Had a little look at his pedigree. Obviously, that wouldn't be my strong point, but he is related to sort of some Grade One winners in the U.S. I think the Godolphin horse there is interesting as well. Caught my eye at Doncaster last time mm. out. Was, you, that's quite a nice price as well. That is a it? nice price. That's a very nice price. Again, a three-year-old, and, and it caught my eye. I, I thought last year maybe it was more of a two-year-old, and I wasn't sure what what this year it would find, but it's, it's done well. And I, I would agree with so that. So you fancy for this particular race? Uh, my, my Billy's big one is educate. So I'm hoping the low draw doesn't prove to be a disadvantage. Okay, and Catherine? I uh, originally put up like Pacific Heights. That was my. But I, I'm, the more and more I look at there. Okay.